Okay. Did you turn on your mic? Yeah. Can okay. you hear me okay? Yeah, great. Um, I've been informed I only have five minutes, not seven, so I'll probably have to come back and finish the presentation next year. Uh, my name's Go Sean on. Lynch, and uh, I'm the developer of Open Litter Map. Um, back in 2009, I was studying geography in first year university, and uh, I was introduced to GIS. And up until that point, um, you know, I was strongly interested in digital games. But when I was introduced to GIS, uh, my interest shifted dramatically from digital games to digital science. Fast forward a couple of years later, um, and there was this area near my house that's plagued by illegal dumping, burnt out cars, and antisocial behavior. And I thought, wouldn't it be very interesting if I could use GIS, put this data on a map, communicate it to educate society, and use the data to get it fixed. Um, fast forward another couple of years, and uh, after teaching myself how to code uh, in April 2017, after being inspired by OpenStreetMap, I thought, why not apply the same principles of crowdsourcing and open data to plastic pollution, and uh, Open Litter Map was born. Uh, so it's OpenStreetMap as a base layer, and then the litter data is layered on top, and it's all accessible as open data. You can download all the, all the data by country, state, or city. And uh, over the last two and a half years, uh, we've crowdsourced data from uh, you know, uh, nearly 2,500 people uh, across over 60 countries. Um, it's a, a web app that recently launched on iOS, as well as the global map. You can click on the World Cup, where we have the countries of the world competing against each other. And if you drill down through the country, the state, and the city, with a smaller amount of data, we can render more sophisticated maps. So this is a weighted hexagonal grid map. Um, on the left-hand side, that's uh, Skibbereen in Ireland. In the middle, you have Vassenaar in the Netherlands. And uh, on the right-hand side, that is Cigarette waste or smoking related waste, cigarette butts mostly, outside the Bundestag in, uh, in Berlin. I think I pronounced that correctly. But you can notice that you can toggle the layers by behavior. So you can see where is the alcohol related litter occurring, where is the coffee related litter occurring, what brands are responsible for their products rotting in the environment, where is the smoking related litter occurring, etc. So as I mentioned, uh, we have the countries of the world competing against each other in what I call the Litter World Cup to see who is creating the most open data on plastic pollution. Um, and when someone uploads to Open Litter Map, I take the address of, uh, that we have an open street map at that value, and I use those values to populate the database dynamically. So if your location doesn't exist yet, simply by uploading, you'll automatically include your location at the, uh, the Litter World Cup where the countries of the world uh, compete against each other. Um, as I said, I recently uh, launched for iOS. Uh, I've yet to push this colorful update, but um, uh, we're soon to launch on Android. But as you can see, the user takes a photo of litter, tags what litter uh, is in that photo, and you can tag any amount of litter in, in a single photo, and then uploads that, which will render the data automatically. I should also add that I manually verify all of the data in each image uh, to remove any ambiguity from citizen science data, but also to gather really high quality data for machine learning, which I'm studying at the moment. You know, we have data for streets, but what we don't have is the data for, you know, what's on those streets in terms of litter and plastic pollution, and we don't understand yet how that moves over time or how it's entering the ocean. And in fact, the, the cities that we live on are designed to facilitate what I call the illusion of urban cleaning. So you can see here that potholes, grids, storm drains, while they remove rainwater, they also remove uh, a lot of litter from the environment as well. And an interesting experiment you can do is just take a glass jar and pop some cigarette butts in there, and watch that water, water quality change. This will give you a rough idea of the effect that smoking litter has on our water. Up until now, plastic pollution has been largely characterized as a marine phenomenon. It's estimated there's about 916 tons of plastic going into the ocean every hour, and we don't really even know where it is data is significantly lacking. And although it has a significant impact on the marine environment, we need to be more proactive and go upstream and communicate plastic pollution where people live, because this is a much more um, interactive and uh, it's a closer to home approach that has the potential to change human and institutional behavior. I've also invented LitterCoin, which is the first blockchain token rewarded for the production of geographic information. So I applied the principles of proof of work from Bitcoin uh, to citizen science for the first time. But let me tell you what LitterCoin is not. It's not an ICO money grabber. 
It's not meant to be listed on any exchanges. It simply rewards proof of work for open data and geographic information. And I want to try and use Littercoin to pay people to create geographic information. And I believe this has the potential to incentivize the most rapid production of crowdsourced data the world has ever seen, potentially leading to a situation where if people could get paid to do it, it could lead to you know, a global production of open data in about 15 minutes. Uh, and in the future as well, um, Open Litter Map is not currently open source, but that's the plan. But, uh, and in the future, people will be able to vote on every part of the ecosystem through a decentralized autonomous organization. So to close, um, I'm looking at, this is a call to action. Currently, I'm doing all this by myself, but I'm launching several working groups today. So I'm looking for people to volunteer and to contribute to uh, software development, mostly PHP, JavaScript, and, uh, block and uh, machine learning. Second working group, um, if people would like to contribute in terms of community development, I'm looking for local and national coordinators uh, for marketing, etc. Third working group is research. How do we use the data? How good is it? How statistically significant is it, etc. And finally, a management committee for um, oversight and uh, future direction of the platform. Um, so that's Open Litter Map. Thanks for listening, and I hope you join me in Map the World's Plastic Pollution. <laughs>